students how are you today i hope you're fine today we are going to talk about comparing uh, ordering and rounding decimals before you compared ordered and rounded whole numbers you'll compare order and round decimals so you can compare raise times as in example one okay Okay, Olympic Games. In the 1968 Summer Olympics Arena uh, of Poland won the women's 200 meter dash with a time of 22.5 seconds. Okay, in 2004, Veronica, okay, Veronica uh, of Jamaica won the event with a time of 22.05 seconds. Whose time is faster? Wow. So, I have here 22.5 seconds and 22.05 seconds. Here, I want to compare between decimals. The number 22.5 and the number 22.05 are called, yes, decimals. I can hear you. I can hear you. A decimal is a number that's written using the base 10 place values place value system where the decimal point separates the, separates the ones and the ones and tenth digits each place value is 10 times the place value of to each right okay key concept this is for your notebook please write this in your notebook as i told you before decimals and place value millions hundreds thousands ten thousands thousands hundreds tens ones okay here I have decimal point, okay, then tenth th, don't forget, we have taken this before when we were young, but remember well, tenth with th here and s for the plural, hundredth, thousandth, ten thousandth, hundred thousandths, millionth, okay, I have here th, okay. Don't forget 22 and 5 tenths. This is called what? 22. The point here I can say and 5 tenth. Tenth. I can say here 22 and what? And 5 hundredth. Okay. So to compare decimals, write the number in a column. Lining up the decimal points. If needed, write zeros as placeholders so that all decimals have the same number of digits that com then compare digits from left to right don't forget to compare digits from left to right okay this is important to know comparing decimals to determine do, to determine which race time given above is faster compare 22.5 and 22.05 let's see put the numbers under each other put the decimal first thing i have to follow put the decimal point under each other this is the key of the lesson don't forget when you compare decimals put the decimal points under each other okay then i have here 22.5 okay i wrote here 22.5 as you see 22.5 okay 22.05 22.05 okay I added here what? Do you see? I added here by myself the zero. I added here by myself the zero. I should write the zero with different color. Okay? And in the second y, in the second number, I didn't add anything. So, I have here, as you see, the tens and ones digits are the same. The tens and the ones are the same. Okay. How? I can't see here 22. Okay, when I say 22, okay, where is the ones? This two. And where's the tens? This two. 22. Here is the ones. Okay. And here is the tens. Right. Okay. Write a zero as a placeholder. A placeholder, this is the place, this is the placeholder, this zero. I added this zero to have the same number of digits. Okay. Okay. Uh, again, I want to write it to you. It was 22.5 and this was 22.05. What should I add here? I add zero by myself. Why? To make all the number of digits the same. Okay, dear students. Okay. Okay. So, and then the tens digits are different. I have here. Here I have five. 
And here I have zero. What do you think? Which is greater? Of course, the five. So 22.5 is greater than 22.05. Okay. So Ver Veronica, Veronica from uh, Jamaica, I remember, is faster than the other one. Yes, it, she was. I want to know she was from Jamaica or what. Let's see together. Veronica, it was from, yes, it was from Jamaica. Yes, Veronica here. Okay, Veronica. Okay, well done. So, uh, example one, as you see here, 30.12 or 30.4. What do you think? 30, which is greater? Okay, it's easy now. Yes, of course, I know that you are uh, smart. So, 30.4 is greater than 30.12. You can say it like this, not 12, because 12, you say 12 is greater. No, compare them under each other. Uh, write like this in 30.4, which is greater, okay? 1 or 4, of course, 1. So, this is the greatest, the greater one, okay? 7.7 .7 or 7.70. Let's see, write it together. 7.7 .7, and I can put here what with 7 and 7.70 7. okay so add here zero okay zero holder so they are yuppie equal okay 5.7 5.6 okay without doing anything 5.7 right right so here I have order 2.11 2.21 2.0 uh, I can see, yes, 2, 2 alone, yes, I can see this, 2.11, 2.21, 2, 2.06, and 2.24, from least to greatest, okay, it's easy, it's easy, miss, we can do it, yes, on the number line, on a number line, mark tens between 2.0 and 2.3, mark hundreds by, the, by dividing each tenth into 10 equal parts, then graph each number. I hear, I hear, draw my number line. I have here from 2.0 to 2.1, I have here 10, okay? 2.1, 2 2.2, uh, 100, okay. So, I have here, uh, I have to write here, this is the 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is 2.06. Okay, why? Because I didn't reach 2.1. Okay, you, you can imagine this. Okay. And then, uh, okay, this one. Um, mm -mm -mm. We can have also another one. So, uh, to compare them, the least one is 2. Then 2.06. Then 2.11. Then 2.21. Then 2.24. This is to write it on your notebook. Rounding decimals uh, to round decimal. Okay, this is important. To round decimal to a given place value, look at the digit in the place to the right. In the place to the right, if the digit is less than five, round down. If the digit is greater than five, round up. Let's see how it's very interesting. You love it. So, when rounding to a certain place value, include the digit of that place value even if it's zero. Here, I'm, I'm reading this now. Can you see what I'm reading? Here, rounding, when rounding to a certain value, place value, include the digit of that place value, place, uh, place value even if it's zero. 2.301, okay. I have here, yes, to the right. I say to the right. So, here, uh, I round the red, so here 1 is less than 5, so it will be 2.30. 8.96, okay, 6 here. 6 here is above 5, so it uh, the 9 will be 10. So here, when I say 8.9 plus uh, here, uh, plus here 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, and it will be here 9, as you see. Let's see in more details, my dear students. So, round 7.126 to the nearest tenth. Let's see and focus and open our eyes. Okay, interesting uh, uh, lesson here. So, when he says to the nearest tenth, where is the tenth here? Is the 1, right or not? Yes, the one here is the, the one, the red one, is the tenth. Okay, you want to round to the nearest tenth. 
because the hundredth so look at the hundredth okay when he says uh, to the nearest tenth look at the hundredth the hun why hundredth the num the digit that's less than here so the hundredth here the hundredth th 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 with far with the green color it's it's number two of course it's less than here the green color number two is less than five right okay what should i do round down or round up what do you think less than five less 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 round down of course and drop the remaining digits don't forget to drop the remaining digits so i will say that it will be seven point what 7.1 7.1 okay no change on uh, on one and drop to six right so after rounding it will be 7.1 let's go okay do another examples here okay uh vocabulary tell what place value the red digit is in it's very good i have here what's this Tenth, right after after the decimal point, it's tenth, uh, tenth hundred th year thousands, right? I can hear you thousands with th um, in the last letters in the last two letters thousandth, okay? Um, here hundred hundred, right? Hundreds four hundreds, and here tenth hundredth th 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 hundredth, right? Okay, dear students, so. Let's continue. And this is uh, the comparing. We have done something like this. 6.5 or 6.45. What do you think? Mm, 6.5. If we compare by doing this. As I told you before. I know that you are smart enough. I know. But we are learning. So which is greater? Of course the 50. So like this. Let's go to the practice book. Dear students now. To solve some questions. And the rest of this page, I want to tell you the rest of this page is the homework, right? Here, page, I will tell you, 58. Page 58 on the student book. Okay, solve this and send it back on Google Classroom. Let's go to the practice book now. Okay, here, round, okay, I will tell you the page first. Okay, this is page 16. Page 15 is homework because it's very easy. Okay, match the decimal with the verbal description. Very easy. Complete using the comparison. Okay, it's very easy. I have here ordered the numbers from least to greatest. This is homework, page 15. Okay, page 16. I want to solve this with you. I have 18.4 to the nearest one. One. When I say one, I look at what? The tenth. Again, when I say 1, I look at the tenth. Where is the tenth here? It's 4. 4 is less than what? Less than 5. So, it will be 18. It will be, the answer will be 18. Okay, this one to the nearest tenth. Tenth here, where is the tenth? Is 0, right? Before tenth, hundredth, 6. 6 is greater than 5 or not? Greater than 5. So, it will add here to the 0. It will add one, and we will not, we will drop the six, right? So it will be fourteen point one. Excellent. Okay, to the nearest thousandth, so tenth hundred thousands, and the six is the hundred thousands. Six is more than five, so it will give nine just one. So the answer will be who can tell me now? Twenty. Five, yeah, I can hear someone is genius here. Twenty-five point zero ten ten. What did you do, Miss? I added one to zero point two zero zero nine zero zero nine plus one. It gives me zero ten again. Like what I'm saying, zero zero nine plus one. It gives you one. It gives you, huh? It gives you 9 plus 1 here, 0. I want you to show it to you, 0. And here the 1. And it will become here 1. And the 0 beside it. So it will give me, um, yeah, I can hear it, 25.010. So this is the answer. Okay, dear students. Okay. 
Okay, by this, uh, we have covered the lesson and uh, study well. If you have any questions, as I told you before, don't hesitate to send it on Google Classroom. Thank you, my dear students, for listening.